Welcome back to RFRA Economics. In this uh, video, we're going to go through the dynamic panel model. Uh, and this is a GMM approach. So the data is indexed by both an individual and time. This may be an individual or it could be a firm or a country. And the important thing is the model is Y is a function of X's and then a vertical line. And this gives our instrument set. Now in a dynamic panel, the X's include the lags of Y, either the first lag or multiple lags of Y. And this leads to an endogeneity issue with the errors and also uh, leads to inconsistent estimates if you try to use OLS. So we need to use uh, or OLS or a panel or a fixed effects or random effects. So we're going to use an instrument set in order to use this. Luckily, dynamic panels have an in inherent uh, set of lag, further lags of Y, which are valid instruments. So we need to bring in the PLM package and bring in the libraries for it. And in that library, there's the U employment in the UK. And we can see what this has. It has firms. This is our individuals, a year, and this is the time. And then it has sectors. It has employments, wages, capital, and output. And the model that is going to be used is to say that employment is a function of lagged employment, wages and lagged wages, capital and output and lagged output. And then the further lags of employment will be the, um, will be the actual instruments. And again, the vertical line indicates what separates the X's from the Zs, which are our instruments. And I've written this broken down here as well. So the first one we want to use is the Adriano Bond uh, 1991 estimator. This is a difference estimator, which means that it takes the values that you have for Y, and in fact, the entire function up until the vertical line, and it takes the difference. So it takes the first difference uh, of everything there, so it's going to use a diff operator on these. And then the instruments are then used as, uh, as actual variables. Now they are the third lags, because this is the zero, one, and two through the 99th. So there's an excessive number of lags that are included in order to capture all the possible dynamics. And this is what's true of uh, uh, Adriano bond estimators that you can continue to use as many lags as possible. Then we have the data, it's a two-way effects. Why? Because we have both the firm and the firm in the year. And then we have the two-step estimator. This means that it runs the GMM estimator for the first time using Zs and an assumed uh, weighing matrix. And then it estimates the weighing matrix for the second step, thereby giving you better estimates. So let's have a look at our Results, as you can see here, gives the formula and then the other uh, things, two-way, two-steps model, unbalanced panel. And we can see we get estimates and we get the significance here. Important things down here, the Sargon test is telling you whether uh, you've over-identified the model. Uh, and then you've got autocorrelation tests in order to verify that you're <clears throat> you've differenced the model enough times in order to get rid of the correlation. And then weld tests for the coefficients and the time dummies uh, as well. Now, if we want, we can actually uh, specify the index directly. Let's say there may be some confusion about which index is, uh, needs to be set. So we can specify it from the data. And we, if you go through these, you'll find that we get the identical results if we identify them or not. Um, now the the other estimator is there is when you change the transformation to LD, this now becomes the Blundell and Bond estimator 1998. This system estimator keeps the model as it is specified in level form, but then take uses differences of the lags as well as the lags uh, in order to generate the uh, the instruments. So the instrument set uh, is in some sense, could be larger because it's uh, got more 
more options. So the p-value could be different. Uh, we had 25 here, and now we're using the differences, so we end up 37 uh, degrees of freedom. But as you can see, the estimates are slightly different between these. Uh, this one's slightly above one and then below one, indicating there's some dynamics in the first two periods and so on. Also, the significance is different. Uh, if you're close to the unit root, uh, the system estimator is uh, marginally better than the uh, Adiano bond. If you're not near the unit root for your dynamics, uh, then, it, then both will uh, be very similar. Another thing that you might see is that, well, we've got a lot of instruments here. Uh, maybe we need to reduce them. So we can reduce them by just saying, let's choose only two, three, and four as our instrument set. And as we can see now, we've dropped the number of instruments that are being used in, in our Sargon test, as well as in our other, uh, other uh, in our actual model itself. Okay, so that's a quick primer on the uh, uh, dynamic panel GMM uh, approaches in R. Great, and we'll see you in the next video.